Hi, this is Justin from Tech65 and today we have here the Sony Walkman Z1050 mobile entertainment player with us today. This is the very first Android uh, device uh, from Sony, of course, not, not from anywhere else, but from Sony that uh, it's running purely just as a mobile entertainment device that's focused under the Walkman brand. All right, let's take a look at the hardware itself. This is how it looks like. You know, you have the usual back home and, and menu button this is actually running uh, Android 2.3.4 it's not ice cream sandwich sorry to say, tell you guys uh, but yeah there are a lot of interesting things for example like the Walkman button over here the uh, volume buttons here all right and an HDMI uh, out Put over here the speakers are here and you have the nice uh, walkman branding over here uh, charging this looks like a proprietary charging uh, dock kind of uh, and this is where the earphones stick in this is the power button and uh, that's pretty much it for this device you know um, it's slightly curved as you can see it's uh, I don't know if you can see it's curved a little bit like that okay and the, what that gives you, right, is essentially when you put it down like that, right, when you put it down on a flat surface, it actually bounces the uh, audio off a flat surface behind and amplifies it, so to speak, right? And uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's how it, it is. And of course, it makes it feel very nice to actually hold like that. So one of the interesting thing or the unique portion uh, thing about this is that this button over here, taking from the W Walkman signature line right and this button actually uh, is unique in such a way that at any point in time of the screen you can access your music uh, player so you press press the button over here in the home screen I can access I can play I can pause I can swipe to the next I can swipe back and so and so forth right Okay, so um, other things like, let's say for example, if I'm YouTube, I can also press, like in an application, I can also press that, right? And oh, even when I am in uh, the lock screen, I can actually press and control my device, uh, or my music player. Not only that, they actually have a, a, a customized version of the music player, which looks something like this. And of course, um, they have a few interesting things like, uh, for example, the library, but that's just the library, right? But the more interesting thing would be uh, the Sense Me channels over here, which basically sorts all your applications or rather all your music into different 14 different channels or categories. For example, like energetic, uh, dance music, extreme and it automatically sorts it according to its uh, tempo, its beat. So I want to show you uh, one of the interesting things is actually the lyrics itself, right? So if I go to the music player, okay, and within the lyrics uh, or rather within the music itself, you can actually load this file called an LRC file. It's essentially a text file of all your lyrics and you can download from a third-party source and load it in. Unfortunately, you have to manually load it in to using USB drive, uh, your, the USB connection. And uh, here, here's like the lyrics, right? And you can see it's highlighted and I can actually skip back and forth to... If you can hear, it actually uh, goes back and forth into the the, the, the music itself, the your music. Of course, this is a mobile entertainment device, right? So it can actually play videos also, right? So let's say, for example, one of the interesting things about the video itself is you are able to uh, do a gesture base to actually swipe back and forth to quickly go through uh, the video file itself. And, you know, that's something very interesting. Of course, uh, this device supports DLNA, so all your videos and music and everything, it's all available to share to your TV and the other devices by this uh, DLNA share device. Of course, Sony being, being Sony, they, they pride themselves in terms of the audio quality and of course, there are uh, quite a lot of uh, great audio technologies in this. And of course, this device features the new S-Master MX Digital Amplifier, which really reduces the noise and distortion level in your music. So it post it post processes a lot of it before it reaches to your earphones. And if you can actually say, take a look, there are a, quite a lot of uh, settings like the equalizer, 
uh, let's take a look, like some of the equalizer here, which is uh, very interesting. The VPT surround sound kind of, where you can actually post-process it. The DSEE sound enhancement, the clear stereo, the dynamic normalizer, X loud, uh, clear phase, and so and so forth. But there are a lot of audio. Uh, uh, post-processing technologies that are available here to make your music as perfect and as rich as possible. So you might ask this is an Android device but it's actually not really a full-fledged Android device. It, you can play, you know, you can download all your applications and everything and it's, it has market. Okay, do note that this is running Android 2.3 only, 2.3.4 if I'm not wrong. Uh, it's not Ice Cream Sandwich, but you still get all the applications that are available like maps and everything, right? Uh, there is no camera, the speakers are here, and that's pretty much it for this device, you know. Um, I think it's great for a mobile device uh, that do not require any calling or anything like that but you can install like the various applications like Vlingo or, or you know WhatsApp and, and whatnot to this device, this Android device and use this maybe for a, a kind of a communication device also. This is the Sony Walkman Z1050 mobile entertainment player from Sony. This has a 16 gig capacity and it will be retailing in Singapore for a suggested retail price of 429. It will be available like pretty much soon in May in Singapore in all re, uh, in all authorized outlets and Sony stores. And this is Justin from Tech65. Thank you very much for watching.